Hi friends, it's my Eden and it is so good to see you because boy, the post-concert depression is hitting hard today. <laughs> So it is actually just um, one day since I returned home from Chicago. Yesterday, Eve and I spent hours in the car driving back from Chicago, which was where we were at, to uh, see the BTS concert in Chicago. And you guys, it was an incredible experience. It was so... It was really good. <laughs> So if I seem like a little bit low energy in this video, that's why I'm feeling a little sad, but I still wanted to come on here and share with you guys the merch haul that I have to show all of you guys. So I'm wearing some merch right now. Um, I have more over here that I want to show you guys what I picked up from. Um, I have, okay, so I have some merch over here from the BTS pop-up store, some from the actual merch from the concert itself, and then some from a K-pop store actually located pretty close to Soldier Field, which was where the concert was being held. So I have all of that to show you. And then this video is also kind of like a part two from my vlog, which I will have uploaded before this, which will also include kind of like my final thoughts, which I'm a little bit nervous to talk about, like not gonna lie, just because it's like, oh, I'm emotional, like it's fine though, like, I got this, it'll totally be fine, like it's Ooh. totally fine. So I guess the first thing that I want to start off with is what I got from the uh, pop-up store, the BTS pop-up store that we went to the first day that we arrived there. So if you guys saw my vlog, you would know that we went to the BTS pop-up store kind of late in the day. We didn't know that there would be a line circling like two sides of a whole block in Chicago. It was a little bit insane. Uh, yeah, we didn't we had no idea that that was what the pop-up store was going to be like so we ended up waiting in line for close to like two hours I want to say um, and we actually just barely made it inside before it closed we got there at like six and then the store closed at eight so we got in there we waited a little bit less than yeah two hours to be able to make it actually inside to the store and that is where I purchased a couple of things so the first thing is actually this speak yourself snap-on bracelet which let me go ahead and take it off because it's wrapped around quite a bit since my wrists are so tiny so this is what it looks like actually unfolded here and um, it's really cute they just gave this to you for free when you walked in the door actually there was a guy like at the door once you got inside who was just like he looked a little bit dead inside but like I don't blame him that store was a little bit crazy um, so yeah he was just like holding these out and so I kind of thought it was a ticket at first and so I was like going to reach for it and then he just goes and I was like thank you <laughs> So yeah, we ended up getting these. I have all of this in my vlog, so if you guys want to see some of the behind the scenes of all of this, then be sure to check that out. So I ended up getting actually this sweatshirt that I am wearing right here. So on the front, it's just a simple emblem with the uh, BTS sign on the front, but on the back, hopefully I'll be able to show this to you guys. Let me actually just take this off. I have a shirt underneath this, but it'll be easier to just show this to you. Okay, so this is the back of the sweatshirt. And I thought this one looked so freaking cool. So it says, find your name and find your voice um, all around the BTS kind of thing happening here in the middle. I don't know, I thought it looked super artsy and really, really cool. So I definitely knew that I wanted to get this one. Um, and it's so comfy too. And also the material on this is really nice. I can tell that like it's been printed on here um, with really high quality material too. So I know that this is definitely going to last me a long time. Was it very expensive? Yes. Um, yep. <laughs> Let's see, this one was, that's the wrong menu. Yeah, so this hoodie was $89, um, which is a little bit insane. Thankfully, I budgeted for the trip and I knew that I would be spending probably hundreds of dollars, which I did. <sighs> yeah, the cheapest thing that you could get there, let's, let's see, the cheapest clothing item that you could get, it looks like was $55, no, $49. So $49 um, was the cheapest item of clothing that you could get. 
the cheapest item overall that you could get was a ballpoint pen for five dollars but yeah I mean as you guys can see they had all kinds of stuff on here my uh, menu ended up getting kind of crinkled and messy just because of all the chaos and everything that was in there but yeah and as you can see too they ended up marking down what I wanted also um can we talk about the fact that they have a prestige jacket or they had a prestige jacket um which was two hundred and seventy five dollars excuse me <laughs> who okay I don't know like you know live your dreams like I don't blame you if you ended up buying that jacket like I get it I was tempted um but also no <laughs> no my hair's all messy now from that whole hoodie action happening <laughs> okay so the last item that I got from the pop-up store was this shirt which actually I think might be my favorite I don't know I really like this hoodie but I really love this t-shirt and this is a persona boy with love t-shirt and I really really like this I love wearing pink yellow is actually my favorite color but I wear so much pink and so I really love the fact that pink was the theme for like all the persona stuff because I love the color scheme and then on the back um, it says, oh my, 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 which I think is so cute. I really, really like this t-shirt. So this was the first item on the menu that I was like, oh yeah, absolutely. I'm definitely getting that one. So yeah, I really, really like this. And actually this layered with this on top was what I wore to the actual BTS concert. Um, so that's really fun that it has those memories along with it too. So that was what I got from the pop-up store. So now moving on to the actual official merch or the official merch that I got like at the venue because all of this was official merch. So you guys waiting in that merch line, even I woke up at 5 5.30 the day of the concert. The concert itself wasn't until 7.30 p.m. But we knew and like I had done my research because this is my first BTS concert by the way So like I was I didn't know like how any of this stuff worked like I didn't know times for things I didn't know like I didn't know a whole lot So a lot of this was just kind of me like just kind of winging it and figuring it out and then being like hey Eve Like let's try it this way because she didn't know either I was the one who did most of the research So it was kind of just like up to me to figure the stuff out So all that to say we woke up at 5 30 a.m. the day of the concert so we could get over to the uh, Soldier Field Stadium about 6 a.m. so that we could get in line for the official merch. Now, I had heard that you want to get in line for the merch really early before it opened up because otherwise you risk uh, not being able to get the the kind of merch that you want um, and so I don't regret waking up that early and getting there and when I tell you that we were waiting in the wind and cold and rain for approximately like two two and a half hours because the merch itself opened up at uh, nine but there was a bit of a delay it was pretty chaotic and then once again once the merch actually opened up we were still like waiting in line because the movement was like really slow but anyway so yeah we got there super super early it was freezing cold I was miserable like not gonna lie it was freezing cold and I was just like trying not to die but again um, you got a menu similar to how the pop-up store worked and this menu is like even more crinkled and messy than the last one because it was rained on like you can see this little mark down here that I made for one of the items it's like there's a little drop of like rainwater there and so this one is in pretty bad shape but um, yeah so the stuff that you could get at this merch sale site venue thing um at the actual concert venue was yeah a lot of apparel and then on the back they also had um some more limited things so you weren't limited to the amount of apparel that you could purchase but you were limited to the amount of like extra things that you could purchase um so not the light sticks and stuff that were up here but the items that were down here um so there was like key rings photos 
miniature flag there was a garland um photo frame set and a shopper bag and i really wanted um this bag that was down here but it actually ended up being sold out before we got to it and like when i tell you that we were pretty close to like the front of the line like we were only in, like the second row of like the line when it was being formed so the fact that it was sold out that fast i am so glad that i was able to yeah be that close to the front to be able to get the other stuff that i wanted um i didn't really want any of like the photo frames and stuff like that i wanted more of the apparel so that is what i went for and so yeah let me go ahead and show you what i got so the first thing i guess that really jumped out to me was this zip up hoodie also sorry if like these are already kind of wrinkled and like they have a bit of dog hair on them i have already worn all of these items but this is a yeah a zip up hoodie that just says speak yourself all over it on the back i really like this one once again it's super super comfy and once again it, it's printed on here really nicely um so yeah i know that it's not going anywhere anytime soon but yeah the front is just plain black so it can go with all kinds of things um i believe it's fleece in here on the inside so it's really really soft and then also on the sleeve over here there's actually an embroidered uh heart with an arrow which is the i guess kind of official symbol for this speak yourself tour they had this symbol uh pretty much everywhere and like i said yeah it's on the back over here too the arrow with the heart around all of that so i thought that was really really cute i think that's Oh, no, wait, there's also, oh yeah, down here on this side as well, also a little bit covered in dog hair. So they also have the tag down here that says it, that it is from the Love Yourself, Speak Yourself tour. So I think that is really cool, really cute. This one, yeah, I just, it's so comfy. I really, really like this one. That one, how much was that one? I think that one was, yeah, that one was 80 bucks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's fine. I think that was the most expensive thing that I got that day. Yeah, so the zip up hoodie was at $80 and that was the most expensive. Moving on, I knew I wanted these as well. And I feel like I probably should have gotten these in a small because the mediums are actually, I feel like everything ran like a little bit large, but I got actually some uh, yoga pants, sweatpants, like whatever you want to call these. But down here they say BTS World Tour with the heart in the background and the uh, BTS sign, so I thought that was really cute. Um, and then on the opposite leg, they also have the love yourself, speak yourself emblem thing. Is it gonna show up kind of, can I get it? There we go, you guys can kind of see it there. But yeah, it is the love yourself, speak yourself emblem once again on the leg. Um, these are so comfy. Once again, I probably should have gotten a little bit smaller because they are kind of big on me, but that just means that they're extra comfy. So yes, I love these. Those ones were like $60, I think. Yeah, they were $60. Did I tell you how much this one was? I think this one, well, how much was this one? $59, this was 60 bucks. I'm telling you guys, like BTS, like Big Hit knows how to drain your bank account, like no joke. Up next. So this was one of the items that was already like getting sold out and this was a sweatshirt that I think is so pretty so this is actually a large size and it is pretty big on me so I was kind of sad about that that they ran out of smalls and mediums by the time that I got up to the line um so yeah it actually has this really pretty like pastel colored symbol on there Ooh, that is my camera does not like that so yeah, hopefully you guys can see it from like kind of back here, but it's this really light like kind of pastel pink into purpley blue gradient effect going on there. And then on the sleeve, so this side says speak yourself in that same kind of pastel gradient effect going on there. And then on this side, it says love yourself. I think that's so pretty. And then on the back, it has um, all of the, so it says BTS World Tour. It has all of their faces and it has all of the places that they're going on the other side. So I thought this one was super pretty. It's super cool. It is very large, but again, being like that large size, it just makes it really comfy. And so I actually don't mind wearing um, larger size clothes because I think that they look pretty cute. And then the last thing that I got from 
the um, concert merch was actually so this one kind of reminds me like of the Beatles like it just looks like a cool kind of hot topic band tee I don't know I like this one so it has all of their faces it says speak yourself in the middle and it has it has all of their names down there below so there is that and then on the back which actually is probably this was like pretty much why I got this but it has all of their dates not dates it has just all the places that they went to this 2019 so yeah pretty much just like a band shirt so I thought that that one was pretty like hipster like <laughs> so I ended up getting that one but like I wanted so much more from that store but like I had to stop like I had to stop because yeah like because this one was so cool too they had like this one where it was like pastel rainbow with all their faces on that that one was really pretty. Also, I almost got this one, which was like a lighter color one that had a really pretty symbol on there. I mean, <sighs> yeah, I really liked all that stuff, but I'm really happy with the one I got. So yes, I definitely am going to be probably exclusively living in just like all of this merch for like the foreseeable future. <laughs> okay, so I guess the next thing will be, oh, actually I got this too. So this isn't really like merch, um, but it is actually just the little uh, fan sign that they gave you in Chicago, like on day one. I know that on day two, they actually got a different sign, but this in Korean translates to die your story with stars. Um, and this was for like the special army time they have kind of like all the information on the back over here but I guess uh, BTS had a surprise song in mind and so there you can see the translation is down there but yeah they wanted everyone in the audience to hold up this sign for the song I didn't because I was too like all over the place um, but yeah so I also got this so I'll probably put this up somewhere in my room <laughs> Okay, so moving on to my last pile over here is what I got from the K-pop store that actually had nothing to do with the BTS concert. It was just a random K-pop store located in Chinatown, which was only about a 15 minute walk from where Eve's and my Airbnb was. So we actually went there on our last day in Chicago just to kind of check it out and see what there was. However, little did we know that we would be met with one once again, a long line to get inside the store. Mind you, this had like nothing to do with the official BTS concert. It was just a K-pop store, but it didn't matter because the armies were there for the concert. They wanted more, they were hungry. And so everyone was in Chinatown at this K-pop store. And so even I once again waited in line. This one wasn't too bad though. The line was moving pretty quickly. So we were only there for like 20 to 30 minutes in line. It wasn't super bad, especially compared to the other lines that we had been in. So yeah, not a big deal there, but we did get inside the store and I really wanted to film inside but there were posters everywhere saying that I wasn't allowed to film inside the store so I did get a little bit of footage of the outside of the line um, and just a quick little sneak peek of the inside but you guys there were k-pop things like up to the ceiling and even on the ceiling like there were posters strung up like above the ceiling when I tell you that this whole place was covered in k-pop merchandise the place was covered also it was so packed that like you were moving around like with sardines in there like this place was no joke like you had to like squeeze past people in order to be in that store and honestly I didn't really mind that that makes a lot of people uncomfortable especially if you're claustrophobic but I'm actually really comfortable in big crowds and I really don't mind it um I kind of get like a sense of excitement if a place is like really hopping and like really busy and crazy like that it actually yeah I don't mind it at all so I was actually having fun while I was in there trying to like see what kind of things I could find and so this is what I came out with. So I guess I will start with the one piece of official merchandise that I have from BTS, which is, oh, 
The 2018 Seasons Greetings Bundle from BTS. So again, this is last year's bundle, but I did want to get, I guess, another just BTS official thing because the concert had ended. This was our last sort of like moment in there. And so I just made an impulse buy and bought the Seasons Greetings package. Um, I was thinking of maybe doing an unboxing of this, but I ended up just opening it on my own last night. Um, I was all up in my feelings and I just wanted to like open it and like have that moment, but like anyway. So yeah, this is actually really cool. It comes with a uh, making of DVD, so like a behind the scenes, which I actually haven't watched yet. I have yet to watch that, so I'm looking forward to checking that out. It comes with a diary, a calendar that I can't really use, but the pictures on there are really pretty. It's like double-sided to where like one side's the calendar and like you flip it over and like the back side's the picture, so like I might still be able to use it in that case. Um, it comes with some pencils, uh, some like stamps, like fake stamps. I don't know, it comes with all kinds of just like cool little things in this bundle here. And the box is really nice. And it actually came, like it looked wrapped up in like paper. So it was like as if like BTS like mailed you a little package. I don't know, it's really cute. So this is what I got from there. Um, and that actually ends with the official merch that I got. Yeah, these last couple of items here are unofficial merch as far as I'm aware. Um, and so I guess the first thing that I will start off with are the posters that I got. This was the first one that I got, which was a group photo, and this is actually from the season's greetings from the 2019 season's greetings, I believe. And I thought that this photo shoot was one of the prettiest, um, and so yeah, I got this of all of the uh, members together here, which I thought was really pretty, and these came in packs of two, so on the other side, is this picture, which I actually don't know what this one is from. Um, this, yeah, wasn't like my pick for color scheme. It doesn't really go with anything that I have in my room, but I mean, since it came with the other one too, then like, that's fine, like, I'll take it. But yeah, this was most of the one that I wanted for my room. And then up next, I got some Jimin pictures. So I got another poster too, which is actually the same picture um, from the other poster from the 2019 Seasons Greetings, which is this poster of Jimin, but I actually think I'll probably put up this picture of Jimin, which I think is so cute. Oh, it's so cute. I just, I feel so weird about like putting pictures of like celebrities up in my room. I don't know why. I just, it's always been weird to me. So like, I know I'm gonna put that up. It's just like, I don't know. It feels weird to me at this point. I'm sure it won't in a while. Maybe it will. Maybe like I'll look back on this in like a couple years and be like, shut up. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> the last couple of things here that I got are just like fun little things. So the first one is I got this pretty cool, I forget, I always mix up like iridescent and holographic, but I got this really cool like keychain thing that obviously says Jimin on it. And in the back, I think it just says Bantan. Um, you can't really see it under the $9 sticker because yes, everything is overpriced in there as well. But yeah, so there is uh, that in Korean on the back, which yeah, I believe it says Bang. No. G. Moon. No, it says Park Jimin on the back. Sorry, I can't read. I can read, but like, I can't. And then actually I got this for my cousin Dora who was the person who basically like really introduced my sister and I to K-pop again. We still had been into it, but she was the one who taught us like most of the terminology and everything like that. So yeah, shout out to you Dora. This is the present that I got her. So this is actually um, an NCT one. Uh, she is a huge fan of NCT. And then on the back, what does it say? NCT 127 Regulate. I don't I don't stand NCT. I like them and I like a lot of their songs, but I don't know a whole lot about them. I do know that NCT 127 is like the most popular subgroup of NCT. Yeah, I'm I've I have not yet um I've not yet jumped in head first to NCT, but she loves NCT, so I thought I would just get her like this cute little uh keychain because yeah. Yes. Okay, so that wraps up the merchandise haul section of this video. All the stuff that I got, I'm really happy about. Like, I don't regret purchasing anything, even though it was lots of money. This was one of the coolest um, and most incredible experiences, like, 
to date of my life and so I don't regret like purchasing things that will remind me of this time because yeah it was super super incredible so now I guess I want to sort of wrap up this whole adventure with some final thoughts and I'm a little bit nervous because I am very emotional about it all and I have a lot of emotions um just all mixing around inside of me like just sadness from it being over but also just admiration gratitude um inspiration confusion it's just it's a whole mess so um but yeah i guess final thoughts overall was that yeah like i said this was probably one of the best experiences of my life um this and also being able to travel to europe which i did last year uh i mean talk about a life changing event and that might sound a little bit dramatic if you're not like a fan of bts um but when it comes to music music is something that really like speaks to my soul and it's something that has just like always been a huge part of me when it comes to my life and my personality and where i draw a lot of creativity and inspiration from um a lot of my creative ideas and a lot of just what i do is fueled with music like music is where a lot of right like my ideas come from for creating videos or paintings or drawings or stories or just like it all stems from music most of the time and so having this musical experience more than just like bts and k-pop and all of that but just like music as a whole already is something so impactful and moving in my life that an event like this just like was so elevated so um i guess yeah that combined with bts in particular so already the bts community um armies as the fan base is called is already such a unique group of people and it's already such a unique and like it just it feels different and I guess that's really what I like about it um I've always been drawn to sort of like weird things that people don't necessarily like jump right into I guess I've sort of always been the kind of person to um maybe it sounds like kind of like a hipster but it's like the whole like oh if it's mainstream then like that's not really my thing which honestly isn't true I love a lot of mainstream things but um, I guess yeah when it comes to celebrities and celebrities with music I've never really been that person and so when it comes to uh, Music too. I feel like I'm derailing a whole lot. Am I making like any sense at all? I don't know. I feel like I'm like getting off topic basically BTS um, came to me in a part of my life where Things were difficult um, and I feel like a lot of people who stand BTS and who are a part of ARMY could say the same thing. Um, their music and their videos and the community has gotten me through a whole lot of really challenging times for not just me but for my sister and also because my sister and I are so close the fact that I have seen BTS also change her life in such a significant way has also impacted me and so it's like there's BTS there's music there's my relationship with my sister there's my relationship with the community there is their personalities and the way that they handle being celebrities and the way that they handle fame um all of this together i feel like i'm again like kind of derailing but all of this together is just what makes this experience so important and so being able to really feel like i could be a part of that as opposed to just someone who kind of felt like a fake fan in a sense um and I, I typically get that syndrome where it's like, oh, you're a fake fan of things. I don't know really where that comes from, but I have I frequently feel that with things. And so feeling like a fake fan and finally being able to go to a concert and experience that and really be a part of it and really feel like a part of this really incredible community meant the world to me. So yeah, I mean, and then again, so even besides all of that, if you don't 
somehow stan bts and you've watched the video to this point then like hi you must be very curious and also why are you watching this video um but even if you're someone who doesn't already like stan bts or you're not already a fan the concert performance is something so unique and different from other performances and from other concerts that it's just something that will impact you differently and that will make you feel different about about this experience because yeah it is just it is so there's the fact that there there's this k-pop group of boys who each have their own individual personalities and talents and skills and who all work so hard and work together so well and have been doing this for years and care so much about their fans their fans are like the first priority for them and then also being able to see their incredible performance they not only sing and rap but they also dance and they do it all at the same time and they put on these incredible performances but then also also the fact that layered on top of all of that you get to also in a sense contribute to this performance with fan chants with signs but also with the light sticks that they have and how the light sticks are coordinated to the performance you feel like you're really a part of everything that is happening and so all of that I'm sure was probably too much <laughs> like didn't make a whole lot of sense but that is, I guess, why I feel so like emotional about this particular event that took place. I'm so, so, so thankful and blessed to have been able to experience this. Like I said, I have like all of these emotions kind of like bottled up inside of me. I feel like I'm gonna have to like journal or something to get all of this out, but <sighs> overall, it was an incredible experience. And if you ever have the chance to go to a BTS concert, then I highly highly recommend it and now my camera battery is about to die but that basically wraps up i guess my final thoughts of this experience it was incredible it was amazing chicago was really cool to visit it's a really interesting city um i can see myself going back there again and just checking out different parts of it because it's a really cool place the concert was incredible the experience was incredible and really surreal and I guess that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like this video if you want to see more content like this from me. Hopefully I'll be able to give you guys more BTS content because yeah, I am such a huge fan. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I've been posting updates on my Twitter and Instagram too, so I will have all of that information linked down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.